Avoid the holiday breath brunders and improve your oral hygiene with America's bad breath doctor and founder of TheraBreath, Dr. Harold Katz. He's with us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I have a question. So what are the holiday foods that will ignite bad breath? Well, there's several groups and they okay. all affect the bacteria in your mouth. Right. Bad breath is caused by bacteria that live in the back of your tongue, throat, and tonsils. Oh. And under certain conditions or eating certain foods, they start to produce chemicals called volatile sulfur compounds. Uh, one chemical is hydrogen and sulfide, that's the rotten egg smell. Another chemical is called cadaverine. Another is called putrescine. Not my sister-in-law's name. <laughs> those are real None smell of, of rotting flesh. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Okay, so when it comes to foods, certain rules you have to know. Number one is you need to keep your mouth as moist as possible to keep your breath fresh. So anything with alcohol in it is going to dry out your mouth. Alcohol, chemically speaking, is a drying agent. So whether it's adult beverages or even mouthwashes mm -hmm. with alcohol, mm. it's all a big no-no. Makes your mouth dry, you lose your saliva, which is nature's gift to keeping your breath ah. fresh. That's why babies always smell good. They're always drooling and they smell good. Saliva has oxygen in it, and that's the natural enemy of those bacteria. Now, you talked about sweets. Mm -hmm. Now, marshmallows and candy canes, they all taste really good, especially candy canes. Oh, I'm going to taste really minty. Yeah. If they have sugar in them, sugar feeds those bacteria. You don't want to make the bacteria any stronger than they already oh. are, and sugar's a big problem. So try to cut down on the sugars it's as well. It's all sugar, not just the candy cane you're talking it's about. It's the sugar. It's okay. the sugar. Okay, yeah. so it's the sugar. is no, sneaky like no, that. Now, there's sugar even in, in these types of foods. Uh, you have the, the, the canned uh, uh, sweet potatoes, the cranberry sauce. Now, Regular cranberries are fine. They're good for urinary tract infections. Mm -hmm. That's not my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my but urologist, you know about them. My urologist yes. friend tells me it's good. <laughs> so again, natural is much better. Mm -hmm. uh, even chewing gum and breath mints, so-called breath mints, have sugar in them. Read the ingredients. Uh, put it, your reading glasses on. Read what's inside. When it comes to something even simple as coffee, that's a problem. Coffee is acidic. Acids affect the bacteria. Tea is a much better choice, particularly green tea. Mm -hmm. And then dairy foods. People love potatoes. You know, they'll put some whipped cream, uh, some sour cream Separate on the potatoes. Cream, yeah. uh, that's a problem. The, the dairy proteins act as a fuel source for the bacteria as well. That's why we always have eggnog as the worst food really? holiday time because it has dairy, it has sugar, and then people put the alcohol in there. <laughs> they right. mix it all yeah. up. Oh, that's a perfect yes. cocktail for bad breath. For huh? bad breath. <laughs> now, this little machine that's humming here, let me yes. sort of explain what that is. People, yep. wait, what's that humming? It's a machine called a halimeter. It measures bad breath. We use it in our clinics, and it actually helped us to develop the TheraBreath formulas. Uh, my daughter had a bad breath problem when she was a teenager, and uh, we tried various formulas, and that's why I came up with the TheraBreath formula, which has a patented oxygen compound in there that that literally gobbles up the sulfur compounds. Mm -hmm. So whether it's onions or garlic or even morning breath, it'll gobble up the... the so she doesn't smell right now? She's good? She's good. She has four <laughs> kids. Her husband oh, doesn't mind. And he's saying it on there, so <laughs> definitely not yet. <laughs> now, one thing, I brought along an onion here just to show you how the TheraBreath works. Okay. Uh, Onions will give you bad breath. They contain sulfur compounds already. So let's say you go out to lunch today, one of the wonderful restaurants here. Uh, now let me show you my, my breath is fresh. Okay. This machine goes from zero up to 2,000. Anything below 100 means your breath is fresh. So we have a little, is there a counter in the front? Uh-huh. Okay, let's see, for the camera. Let me see, I'm gonna move this. Okay, it's at a negative, well, let's no, keep blowing. It's a four now. Four. Okay, we'll I'm at four, so I have fresh breath. Oh, that's fresh, okay. That's, yeah. Yeah. Anything below 100 it. is fresh. Oh, okay. anything below 100, that's good, yeah. okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry if I screwed it up. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Nothing like that. I just tasted the onion, too. Oh, it's 26, <gasps> one, Oh wait, my three, gosh, <gasps> 603. Eight. Eight. It's like winning the lottery. Yeah, but what it was it? 600 Well, it got up to 12 something. 1200? 1, yes. Okay, so this is some of the TheraBreath formula. You'll see it's clear. There's no artificial colors or yeah. flavors. Cheers. Uh huh. Okay. I don't swallow it. So you should gargle for about 30 seconds or so. Okay. Now, we also have the toothpaste, which has oxygen compounds as well as the mouth wetting lozenges. And these are all at Target and Walmart and Walgreens yes. and CVS. Yes. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's see what we have Oh, here. we're going to oh. keep this still, actually, so here. the camera oh, okay. so, yeah. you. Yes, right here. Okay. That'll be good. Can't wait to see this. From 1,200 down to, what are we at, 17, 16, 15? 
That's pretty gun, good, Tom. Gun, below 100. Yeah. We'll go below 100. Below 100. So then if you're yeah, ever... Yeah, one below 100. When you eat garlic... 1,600 to 100. It's pretty Fantastic. good. Fantastic. It's amazing. So if you go on a date or anything and you eat garlic now, you can just take this stuff with you and then... Exactly. You yeah, the, the lozenges are easy to carry. Now, what we're doing for the holidays, we're actually giving us some free samples. Oh, okay. So if you want some free mouthwash, toothpaste, and lozenges, uh, they can call my office. It's 800-557-6960. You're not telling us we can't eat these things. It's just yeah. there's a way to mask the odor once right. you do eat them. Right. And very very simple trick. If you're going to eat any of these things, sip some water afterwards. Water okay. uh, dilutes the effect of the sulfur compounds immediately. And as I mentioned, green tea is very good. So anything that keeps your mouth as moist as possible is very valuable. Now on our website, if you do have a particular bad breath problem, you come to therabreath.com. There's all sorts of questions we can answer. In fact, if you have a coworker that has bad breath, you have something called the Telefriend program. <laughs> I'm okay. sure and, and, all right. It's all anonymous. You give us the offender's email address. I send them an email. We won't say who told us, and I'll give them all the tips That's that medications could be a problem, mm -hmm. post-nasal drip, large tonsils. Many, uh, many factors are involved in bad breath. Well, thank you so much, Bad yeah. Breath Doctor. We appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> great to be here. Call the number on your screen right now and request the printed full-color 50-page Bad Breath Bible for free. It'll be shipped to your door for free as well. And good oral hygiene and good oral hygiene can help maintain good overall health and wellness. If you'd like to learn more about Therabreath, just head to the website or call the number listed.